Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag dishwasher float switch kit. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new gasket, a screw, a float, a base, a standpipe, and the new float switch. The float switch kit tells the dishwasher if there's water in it. The manager should be changing it out, so if it's failed and the dishwasher's overfilling or not filling at all. In order to change the part, we have to take off the access panels. We're going to use that quarter inch nut driver to take out the screws that hold them on. Once you have the screws out, we can take the access panels off. Once you have them off, you can set them aside. Now that we have the access panels out of the way, we're on the right hand side of the dishwasher. We're going to reach underneath and take off the float switch. We're going to use a quarter inch socket with a ratchet and an extension to take it out. If you have the screw loose, you can reach in and grab it, and then the switch will drop down. If the switch sticks on the float, you have to pull it forward a little bit so it drops off the float stem. Once you have it free, you can pull it out. We can use a small flathead screwdriver to help take off the wires. To get the wires off, you just have to pop them off the switch. These are both blue wires. They don't matter which side they go on on the switch. So all you have to do is pop them off. Once you have them off, you can pull the float switch out of the dishwasher. Now that we have the switch out, we have to take the float out. So we're going to open up the dishwasher door and take out the lower rack. All you have to do is pull the rack out, set it aside. Once you have the rack out of the way, we can lift the float off and pull it out of the dishwasher. Here's the old float switch next to the new float switch kit. If you already have this, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. This kit is used on both plastic tubs and stainless steel tubs. If you're doing a stainless steel tub, you want to make sure you change out the standpipe and the base and the gasket and the screw. These parts have been redesigned and you want to make sure you use all the parts in the kit. We're doing a plastic tub, so we're only going to use the switch and the float. First thing we're going to do is put the float into the standpipe. All you have to do is set it into place. And then we can close the dishwasher door. Once you have the door closed, we can go underneath and put the switch on. To put the switch in, first we're going to grab the wires and connect them. doesn't matter which one goes where. All you have to do is press them on so you get a good connection. Once you have the wires on, you can lift it up into place. Then we can use the quarter inch socket with the ratchet and the extension to put the screw in. When you're lifting the switch up into place, you want to make sure that the stem from the float goes into it. Then you have to push back on a little bit, and then you can lift it up into place. Once you have it in place, we can get the screw started and tighten it down. Now that we have the switch mounted, we're going to open up the dishwasher door. And then we have to make sure that the float engaged properly into the switch. You shouldn't be able to lift it up. If it comes up, then you have to go back down and drop the switch and reinstall it. Once you're sure you have it in there properly, we can put the lower dish rack back in. All you have to do is set the rack onto the door and push it back into the dishwasher. Once you have it in there, we can close the dishwasher door and use the quarter inch nut driver to put the access panels back on. Once you have the access panels back on, you can plug the dishwasher back in and take the first spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.